Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our super easy grinding square for beginners tutorial. We are making this grinding square today and the good things about it, you can't see where you join your rounds. There's no uh, chain running up one side and it is perfectly square in that it doesn't twist and turn into a funny shape as it gets bigger. So if that is the kind of granny square you would like to make, you have come to the right place. Let's get started. To make this super easy granny square for beginners, just take the tail of yarn and put it over the palm of your hand and pinch it down with your thumb. Wrap your yarn to make a bit of an X over your fingers and just poke that tail or the, the working yarn underneath on the back side and pull it up. You want to leave a bit of a tail but it's not that important. And then just shrink down your loop and make sure that the part that's shrinking is coming from your ball of yarn and your tail is stuck. Put that loop onto your hook and we're going to chain three. So just wrap your yarn and bring it through the loop. We're going to do that one two, three times. And then looking at those V's, take your hook and just poke it into the center of that very first V. Hold your tail down and while you're here, get your fingernail a little bit or your finger touching your thumb a little bit where that loop in between those two loops on your hook. We just want to hold open the center of our ring so just hold it open and slip stitch. So grab your yarn and bring it through both loops. Now chain three and still be holding here. Keep, that, keep holding that open. One, two, and three. Now wrap your yarn and push your hook onto your finger. So it's in the center of that ring. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Now you can kind of let go because you have your yarn through the center there. And do a double cro crochet. So wrap your yarn and take off two loops wrap your yarn and take off two more loops. So there is a chain and your first double crochet into the center of that ring and now you can see where the center of your ring is and where you're going to be working. We're going to be going over our tail as well. So wrap your yarn and go into that very same spot. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. So that counts as three double crochets. Our chain counts as our first double crochet. So now we are going to chain two, one and two, and make three more double crochets into the same ring. So put your hook into the center. Make sure you're going over your tail. It's not the end of the world if you're not, but it's helpful. Wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. And again, double crochet into the center of that ring and one more time another double crochet. If you're not sure of your crochet stitches, there are tutorials for each of the stitches on my channel. I'll put a link in the description box below. So now grab your ring and kind of yank those stitches back, like pull the ring and push your stitches so you get more space around that ring because we need some space. So you've done three and a chain two and then three again. So chain two again and we'll do one more set of three double crochets into the center of that ring going over our tail. Wrap your yarn into the center, three double crochets. One, two, and three. So now we have three sides of our square started and if your stitches are sliding over just grab that ring and kind of pull it out. Pull this, push the stitches back and pull the ring out so you have more space to put more double crochets onto the ring and your, so your stitches do not overlap. And chain two again for your corner. Wrap your yarn and our last three double crochets of this round into the ring and over the tail. There's two, and here is three. So there is our four sides, and we are going to join with a chain one, and into the top of this chain three, you can count your V's, one, two, three, 
So into the third one, push your hook in. You want two loops on your hook. If you get one loop, it's a bit, it looks a bit funny. So get two loops of yarn on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two. So that's a single crochet. So we are joining our round with a chain one and a single crochet. And chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. So now we're going to be working along this side here. So into that spot, right where we did our chain, the big hole we made. So we have three double crochets on each side. And you know it's three because you can separate them and count those sticks. So into this corner space, you're going to make two double crochets, just into that hole, into the big space. So there's one and two, like that. Now let's get a stitch marker, and we'll just put a stitch marker here. If you do not have a stitch marker, which luckily I do have a stitch marker, but if you don't have a stitch marker, you can just use a piece of yarn. You can just like tie a piece of yarn into there, or a paper clip, or a hair, a bobby pin works great too. But I'll just put a stitch marker there. And so we've done our chain and our two double crochets. Now we're going to jump over and make a corner into this corner. So each corner gets a corner for this round. So corners, wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the corner space. One, two, three. Chain two for your actual corner. And push your stitches back again. Like pull that corner and push those stitches. And three more double crochets into the very same spot. One, two, and three. So there is our corner. And we're going to jump straight over into the next corner. No chaining. We only chain in our actual corner. So jump straight over and three double crochets into the next corner space. One, two, and three. Push your stitches back. Chain two for the actual corner. And three more double crochets into the same spot. One, two, oops, my yarn. And three. So now we have two sides or two corners done of our second round. Jump to the to the next corner and do the corner. Corners into corners. Corners are three double crochets, a chain two, and three double crochets into the corner space. And remember to push your stitches back if you are running out of room. It'll help your square look nice and tidy. Now we have our stitch marker over here. So that means this is where we're going to join. And it also means this is half of our corner. We have to do the other half of the corner here. We can also cut off our tail because we worked over it. So by tail, great. So into this space here, we're going to do three double crochets. And that will be the last half of that corner, or the first half, depending how you look at it. All right, get my yarn ready. We can take our stitch marker out because we know what we're doing now. And then to join, because we're not changing colors for this square, we're going to chain one and go into the top of the chain three. Remember, you can count your V's. Go into the top, one, two, and three. Top of the chain three, poke in your hook, get two loops on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, and then chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. So now we have a nice little square started. So for round three, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. So two double crochets into that corner space. 
because our chain counts as a double crochet in this pattern like that and now get your crochet your stitch marker and put it into this space you can put it into the stitch or into the space I usually keep it in the space just so I know where I need to make more stitches now wrap your yarn and jump straight into the next space with three double crochets so each side each space along the side it gets three double crochets and each corner just jump straight to the corner each corner gets three double crochets a chain two and three double crochets so there's two three a chain two and push your stitches back to make more room and three more double crochets so there's our corner and this spot here on the side is a side so that's going to get just one set of three double crochets they're also called shells so a set of three double crochets can also be called a shell so you can put one shell into this space and the fast thing about making granny squares is we're only working into spaces so you don't have to find stitches or recognize what your stitches look like so that's the part that's quite easy for beginners and people who just want to do some easy crochet so corner we do the same three double crochets chain two three double crochets and the sides get three double crochets so keep going along and I will meet you at the join so we've gotten back to our join and we put our stitch marker there you can see how if we didn't put a stitch marker it would look like we would just keep going like this would be a side space and then maybe we put a corner way over here it can be a bit tricky to recognize especially when your square is small like this so a stitch marker really helps so you can take your stitch marker out and we know we have to finish our corner here so we're going to do our three double crochets one two and three and now to join because we're going to keep making it bigger with the same color so we're going to chain one and then single crochet to join so you can kind of pull at that chain to get it behaving and then count your V's one two three into the third V push your hook in getting two strands of yarn on your hook grab your yarn and bring it back wrap your yarn and take off two so there's our, sing our single crochet to join and chain three one two three so that counts as our first double crochet and we're going to turn our work we turn our work each row or each round so that our square doesn't start twisting it'll start being like do 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 each round and we don't want that so if you flip it each after the end of each round you get a very nice square square so into this corner space two double crochets two now get your stitch marker back because we don't want to run over our join and now into each of these side spots three double crochets three double crochets and our corner gets a corner which is three double crochets a chain two and three double crochets so three double crochets into the first space one two and three wrap your yarn and three double crochets into the next space our corner three double crochets a chain two and three double crochets all into the same spot there's our chain two push your stitches back if you need more room and three double crochets to finish off the corner and continue like this all the way around and I will meet you when you get back to your stitch marker so when we get back to our stitch marker that space is where we're going to put our last three double crochets of this round one two three
and I'm gonna make mine bigger. You can stop at any time, but I'm just gonna make mine a couple rounds bigger. So I'm gonna chain one and single crochet to join. So separate that chain and go into the third one. One, two, and three. Two loops on your hook, two loops of that stitch, and single crochet. So bring the yarn back, wrap your yarn, and take off two, and chain three while you're there. Turn your work. Make sure you're going into the corner. Make sure you're going into the space. You can tell because there's three double crochets on each side. Each of these shells is three double crochets, so just make sure you've turned your work and that you're going into that corner. So keep going, making your granny square in the same way. We start with a chain three and two double crochets. Put in your stitch marker. On the sides, three double crochets into each of the side spots, and the corners get a corner of three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. So the only tricky part from now on is just remembering to only do two double crochets here when you start, because the chain counts as your first double crochet, and to remember to put in your stitch marker so you can mark where you're going to join. And now just keep going, making your granny square as big as you want yours to be. And I'll meet you when we fasten off on our last round. So I've done five rounds. I just did one more round. And I like that size. It's cute. So I'm going to fasten off. So I'm just going to finish making my last three double crochets into that corner space where we joined and started the round. There's two, and here is three. And now to fasten off, I'm going to chain two and slip stitch to the top of that chain three. So count your V's, one, two, three. Push your hook in, two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it through and bring it through. Now we're going to chain one to secure our yarn and cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug this down to secure. Now to work in your, t your end, or you work in your tail so you don't have to sew it in later, I'm just going to work it back along this corner because corners are going to be corners. It's going to have a lot of stitches here and that's going to hide our tail really nicely and make sure it's secure. So just these, this back loop of the V, so just one loop of the V, and bring it forward and into the next one, same thing. back loop, bring it through. You want to do this until about the center of this shell over here. Like that. I'll do it one more, so into this top of the center double crochet. Into the back loop and bring it through. Now stretch it out, you don't want it to be too tight. And now we're going to bring it backwards. So I'm going to skip this stitch, I'm going to go in from the back of that center stitch and just snag that thread and bring it through. So now when I'm, and then from this side, I'm gonna bring it just to the front there. So now it is woven through the loops and brought back the other way. So now when you go over it, you can just cut this off later. Don't cut it now, but we can cut it off later and we don't have to sew it in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share, and stay hooked.